SBR Forum's Punters is brought to you by Bookmaker. We're previewing week one in the NFL here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshek, and we are talking now with Scott Kellen from SixthSenseSports.com, one of the most respected NFL uh, lines opinions in the industry. Scott, thanks for being here once again. And uh, one of the games you chose that you wanted to discuss was Miami at Houston. And I'm interested to see uh, what opinion you have on this game. Houston's a 12-point home favorite. Total's about 42.5. And, and basically, you know, Houston's looking awesome on all in all areas of the game. Their ground game last year was great. Their defense really stepped it up when uh, – uh, when they're up, when they were having problems on offense, Ma uh, Matt Schaub is healthy now. So they're really, I don't see any weaknesses with Houston at all. Miami, on the other hand, looking awful on offense. They have a very strong defense, though, and a couple of uh, Pro Bowl player, or former Pro Bowl players on the defensive line. So I'm thinking maybe your lean is either going to be Houston minus the points or the under. Which is it? Yeah, it's going to be Houston, Peter. I okay. mean, obviously, uh, you don't need a rocket scientist, <laughs> rocket scientist to come on here and tell you to lay a bunch of points with Houston, but that's what I'm going to do. But uh, yeah, I don't think you have to worry about laying 12 points in this game. I would quite frankly lay up to 13 without any issues at all. Uh, you know, you look, this game reminds me a lot of the Houston game last year, game one against Indianapolis. A little bit of a different uh, take on it, only because Indianapolis was a divisional team for Houston that they uh, had been trying to overcome for many, many years. And, and finally last year they were able to do it, albeit without Peyton Manning. Uh, but they really, they really put a beat down in Indianapolis, uh, you know, which I think was representing years and years of frustration uh, when they beat them 34-7. to And that game steamed a lot last year. Um, I think it got up to as, maybe as high as 10 points at some places on, on Sunday. This game is also steamed. I think it came out six or seven points, and it's been up as high as 12, 12 and a half uh, points, and it, maybe it's come back down a little bit now. But as long as it's less than 13, I don't see any way that Miami's going to be able to compete here. They're going with a rookie quarterback in Ryan Tannehill, who I think will be fine in the long run. Uh, but he's going to see stuff that he's just never seen before. Yeah. And, and Miami allowed 52 sacks, as it was last year, I believe, uh, on the season. Uh, and they've got offensive line issues. Artis Hicks is out. Jake Long looks like he's going to play, but he's banged up. If he goes out, they're going to have even more issues. They've lost a, uh, at least one other guy, I believe, on the offensive line. Houston's going to come at him with a, a very, very good defense. And last year, when Houston uh, destroyed Indianapolis in the first game, you would think that would be a letdown spot for them in the second game. But they went to Miami and, and defeated Miami at Miami by 10 points. So I don't think they're going to have an issue with winning the game here uh, and, and winning it very easily. They're going to be able to run the ball down Miami's throat. Miami's defense is okay. Miami actually played some close games last year. I see this game looking a little bit more, uh, certainly like the game two last year when they played each other and Houston was able to win by 10 at Miami. But also last year on a Monday night, uh, Miami went to the Jets and lost 24-6 to in that game, I believe. We're never really in the game. Uh, and Houston's a better team than the Jets were last year, but it's a similar team that they can run the ball down your throat, they can play extremely good defense, uh, and Houston obviously can, can hit you uh, in the, at the receiver spot in the passing game much better than the Jets ever could. I just don't see Miami scoring many points here. And Houston's a good enough offense, uh, even with a decent defense for Miami. Uh, but, you know, they've got some secondary issues there as well. Bonte Davis is now gone. They got rid of him. They've got to redevelop that secondary a little bit. I just see Houston being able to put up 24 to 27 points minimum. Uh, and I don't think Houston uh, or Miami gets into double digits. And when you start looking at it that way, I just don't see any way that Miami can compete, even with a large spread. Great analysis there, Scott, and uh, you definitely implied some team total leans there as well. This might be one of those games where the Sharps and the public uh, both come in uh, on the same side and the books uh, get beat on that one. Thanks, Scott.